totally normal day over here in Silicon Valley, just going to Target to get my nails painted by a robot. Hey, I'm Lisa Fay, and today I'm here at my local Target store in San Mateo, California, which is one of only a handful of stores in the U.S. that have a clockwork mini cure manicure station set up. It sounds a little bit weird to be getting a manicure at a Target, right? All right, let's go check it out. I made an appointment and prepaid on their website. The website was really easy to use. I paid $8 for my first manicure using a promo code, and after that the regular price is $9.99. This video is not sponsored, and I paid for this myself. At my local store, the robot is located at the end of the aisle in between the cosmetics section and women's pajamas and lingerie, and you have the refrigerator and freezer section located directly behind you. It's a little bit awkward with people walking by and it's pretty high traffic, but you get used to it. There's a little cart next to the machine that has all of the nail polishes. At the time of this video, there were 25 different color options to choose from. I ended up choosing this shade from OPI and the attendant working there said it was their most popular shade. They give you a little pre-filled vial that you insert into the machine and then it kind of guides you through a process and asks if you'd like to watch a little tutorial video which explains the whole thing to you. It's really easy to operate and the screen guides you through the entire process as it's happening. There's this little pull-out hand rest that you stick your hand on and each finger is individually held down by this little strip. What you're seeing here is the robot going at the speed that it goes at. This video has not been sped up or slowed down at all. This is how fast the robot is painting your nail. The little test dots on the strip before and after each nail are to help the robot clear any air bubbles or any blockage in the cartridge before painting the nail. So I thought that was interesting. I wanted to get a few angles and also better audio of what it sounds like. So here you go. The most difficult part for me, honestly, was staying super, super still because you have to be really still in order for it to work. If you move your finger or your hand at all, even involuntarily, it will cause the robot to miss a spot when it paints your nail. And you can see a few examples in this video of when it did miss little sections here and there. That's really, that's really cool. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this. I don't normally go in and get manicures at a nail salon. It's just something that doesn't fit into my budget or my time frame and lifestyle. Um, so this was really kind of a fun novelty experience for me and I don't feel like I'm taking away from anybody else's livelihood by using a robot for this because I wasn't going to a salon anyway. What I really enjoyed seeing is if there's a problem with the painting on your nails, like on this one, they can go back over the video footage and see what happened, if there was movement or whatever. And in this case, the attendant said that it was probably an air bubble in the cartridge. The band that holds your fingers and thumb in place is not adjustable. It's stretchy, but you can't adjust it. And so it was really tight on my thumbs because they're larger across, obviously. And it caused me to be able to feel my pulse in my thumb as I was getting it painted. And so it moved and it caused it to skip. So that was a little bit of a problem. Overall, really cool. 
Was it 100% perfect? No, but with any new technology, you kind of don't expect it to be 100% perfect. So it was, you know, good enough. Sometimes it does cause issues if you have pronounced ridges on your nails, and I do. So um, that was definitely the case with my pinky on my right hand. There's a big ridge on this pinky, and it didn't quite get it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> so you're telling me that your local Target doesn't have, like, the PlayStation headquarters right across the street? Yeah, that's it's not normal? I just wanted to include a little bit of extra footage of what my nails looked like about 30 minutes after I had them painted by the robot, just in case anybody's curious and wanted some up-close pictures. Here they are.